subject to cover today because yeah. this is World Sleep Day. And to celebrate, we're diving into the best ways to make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. Our Chief Health Editor, Dr. Path Parthenandi, is here now. All right, what are the basic facts that we should know about sleep the besides th that we're not getting enough? <laughs> the, but then it's World Sleep Day. I yeah. love that day. So it should take you really 10 to 15 minutes to fall asleep with seven, seven to nine hours being optimal for most of us. And an ideal temperature, my wife will say, between 60 and 67. I like it a little bit warmer. Uh, what's Ooh. your prescription then for getting a good night's sleep? So first of all, turn off your gadgets. You know, a lot of us keep the phone on and all the, the smartphones and the TVs, the blue light emitted from those uh, from those screens can suppress melatonin and increase your alertness. Mm. Next, get up early, expose yourself to morning light as much as you can to help stabilize the sleep wake cycle. And, and also, if that doesn't work, have a hot drink. As long as it's not alcoholic and as long as it doesn't have any caffeine, it can really, really relax you. And then lastly, you know, this really works out for me, work out. If you work out about six hours before, you can burn off energy and calories and really you're good to go before going to bed and have a, 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 you know, a lot of reasons to go to sleep. All right, that helps us get to sleep, but a lot of people, uh, while you're, we're here, we want to talk about the idea that you just kind of toss and turn all night. Mm -hmm. What yeah. insomnia really, right? It's for a lot of psychological problems like stress and anxiety. So if you can talk to your doctor, say what the underlying cause is, instead of just popping a pill, really important to do that. Very good.